Listen, million dollars worth of game. Yes. Dykeman basketball, New York City. Yes. Presented by Jack Pocket. Yes. You see who we got right here? Richard Allen Paul. Listen, listen, Richard Allen Paul, aka yo, North Philly Paul. First no, whatever. It don't matter. Richard is Richard Allen. It don't You're matter. Rich now. You're from North Philly. Yeah. But listen, <laughs> Cleveland, don't get mad at him. He claimed it. But at the end of the day, you see where we at, but it's going down million dollars worth of game, man. Stop playing games. Presented by Jack Pocket. This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by Jack Pocket. The presenting sponsor of Million Dollars Worth of Game. Feeling lucky? Well, get ready to try your luck with Jack Pocket, America's number one lottery app. With Jack Pocket, you can order Powerball and Mega Million tickets right on your phone. They even have official state lottery games. Every day, there are millions up for grabs right here on your phone. Uh, just whip out your phone. Oh, whip, whip. Right there. Lottery is in your hand. Oh, whip, whip. It's right there in your hand. This is Jack Pocket. This is not number two, it's not number three, it's number one. So new customers can get a free lottery ticket by using code Gilly. Whip it out right now. Whip out Jack Pocket right now. Oh, whip it! Throw Gilly in there, get your free lottery ticket. Might turn into thousands, might turn into 100,000, might turn into $100, might turn into some M&Ms. You don't know, but you know you get a free ticket when you whip out that, that phone. Download that app, Jack Pocket, and what you got to do, oh, whip, whip, throw Gilly up in there, G-I-L-L-I-E, get you that free ticket, all right? That's called Gilly for a free Powerball or Mega Millions ticket. And all I'm saying is if you win, break, break bread with a player, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? That free ticket got me to Mega Millions. Where Gilly at? Ah! No, I'm just playing. But make sure you do that. Download, use code Gilly, get your free ticket. Don't wait. Download Jack Pocket now for your chance to win big. Yes, sir. Me and I was worth a game. Right. You're now tuned into me, 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 million dollars worth of game. We yes. live here in New York City at Dykeman Playground. Listen, yes. Let me tell you something very important. I don't care what nobody say. I'm sitting here with a mega sports agent. He already told me on the side he's going to get Gil a three and a half day contract <laughs> with one of these NBA teams. I don't know which one. And you said I could be, I could be able to get on the, I get in the locker room some type of way. I just want to get on the team. Like, what part can I kind of be the towel boy, water boy? I just need to get in the game. I'm going to elevate you. Well, where am I be? Yeah, be the front office. Front office, I like that. Yeah, head of marketing, <laughs> head of marketing, vice president of marketing, one of these teams. No, you're going, you're going, you're going to be the director of culture. Mm, I like that. But don't worry about Gil. Just get me in that joint. <laughs> See, we ain't got to worry about Gil. Hold up that train. We really outside right now. You see the train going. <laughs> and it's a possibility I might activate my game. Well, hold on. Now nah, we're not about to do that. I might activate my game. He told you he was going to be the director of culture. <laughs> that ain't even no job. <laughs> no, we got to create the jobs, Gil. We create the jobs because we control cool. We got, I, they can't direct culture. We got to. <laughs> All right. So you know what I'm saying? But listen. You, you know, I need to know what is you looking for as an agent? Who is you looking for? You know what I mean? When you, when, when, could you see him at a certain age? Do you see him at how, how, When do you first see him and you well, spot him? Well, again, I, I, I remove myself from agent. I'm, you know, I like to use the word representative because agent. A rep. Yeah, because agent is just, it's such a transactionary word. Okay. So I want to take that away. But because I'm representing more than just from a, you know, we're not just doing a deal. Right. Um, but what I look for today, yesterday I looked for talent, high level talent. Today, high level character and talent, right? Because as you guys know, the professionalism aspect of this whole thing is so important, man. And when you get to that year 12, 13, and that talent that ran out, you got to be able to lean on the past professionalism to keep you, you know, afloat. And you wonder why a lot of guys, you sit back and be like, why he ain't in the league, he ain't in the league, he ain't in the league. In most cases, it's because while they were there and the talent was here, they disregarded the professionalism. And those same people that were in those decision-making positions are now on different teams or that was in the lesser role is now in a decision-making role and they don't want to deal with it. And so there's nowhere else you can go in the world and make a base salary that's a veteran minimum in the NBA of $3.2 million as a base salary. And I try to explain to guys, like, you want to be able to milk that for as long as you can. And so the talent has to match the character at this point because, again, the way our industry works now, 
you start to see the lesser of they're not really they they're not really taking the no more. You know what I'm saying? You you, can't, you you you're not getting that many bites at the apple. You're getting one bite at the apple, and then it's next. So you you know, and so if you're building a business, if we only focus on the talent, and then that talent isn't able to um, have staying power, you know, it can push me out for like Michael Beasley's supposed to be in the NBA right now. And Michael Beasley is probably one of the most talented guys to ever touch a basketball. But talent also have to be able to value infrastructure too. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, I know Michael Beasley personally, and Michael Beasley's a good dude. And I wish, and I'm sure he would probably, if he had an opportunity to do it over again, he would take a different approach. I'm sure. Right. But the great dude, and there's very few guys to ever touch a basketball more talented than Michael Beasley. Right. But. How do you go about, you're an athlete. You get $100 million, you get $50 million, you get whatever. How do you even go about setting up an infrastructure that can prepare you for after the game? Well, I think the first thing you gotta understand is, again, athletes have the hardest job in the world. They take everybody to work with them. You at work, you at work. Ain't nobody with you, you get what I'm saying? But they take everybody to work with them. Because of that, it's a very difficult thing to, to be a professional athlete. Not to mention, $100 million, really $50 million after taxes, right? <coughs> now you gotta multiply that times your dependents, right? Then break it down from there. When an athlete makes money, everybody around them stop working. That don't make sense though. When the, when the, when the CEO of you know, Amazon gets, I mean, you know, when, when that person got promoted to become C CEO, I can guarantee you, nobody stopped working. But do you think that's a black athlete versus white athlete thing? Because I go to the league, right? And I, I believe this is the side effects of success. If I go to the league today, right? Everybody, it come across Instagram, I got this much money. All the homies want Rolexes. Yeah, but I gotta take care of my mom. First of all, I gotta jumpstart everybody because we already behind the eight ball. I gotta get mom a crib, dad a crib if he around, if he floating or whatever. My sister, everybody want all this stuff. So I gotta spend millions just to, just, just off the strength of looking out for them from the rip. Yeah, but, but it, I think it takes two responsibilities there. Mom and dad, that's a must, right? That's a must. But then you have to be able to have a conversation with everybody else and say, let me, allow me to be your back line of defense. I had to have that conversation with my siblings. Mm -hmm. And all my siblings work. Let me be your back line of defense because what you fail to realize is it ain't enough. Mm -hmm can't save your way to wealth. It's, it's just not enough. And that's why I say it's the toughest part. And it's even tougher because what else you gonna do? And now we're in this environment to where everyone wants to be everything but what they were born to be. Mm -hmm. So now, because of that, I'm half-assed doing this job and pretending to do something that I'm not even really great at doing. You basically saying everybody ain't got it, but they Instagram got everybody thinking they got it. Or you want to put yourself around people so you can be perceived to be something the, you're not. Yeah, the be, the best investment guy because you're hanging with an investment guy, or the best, you know, Bitcoin guy because you're hanging with a guy that do Bitcoin. And then our our people that look like us, you know, you know how that go. Mm -hmm. They, you always want to be in those circles so you can be perceived as a higher standard than what you really are yeah and to me that's very misleading staying true to you investing in you perfecting you both from a craft perspective and a and a mental spiritual perspective is the best investment you can make mm -hmm. then identifying 
those that add value to you through the lens of their capabilities necessary for the house you're trying to build. Everybody's house is different. Somebody, people got mansions, some people got townhomes, some people got ranches, but that's your house. And you should, you know, value that. And that's, I mean, when you see it, that's the problem. Now, the business is lucrative. Guys shouldn't be going broke, et cetera. But you know, it's all relative. Mm -hmm. Today, you know, how many thousand dollar hoodies did you think they buying? Two thousand dollar hoodies. Oh, they, they got buy. what? You, See, you one see thing, what I'm saying? One thing back in the day when we was coming up, all we had to have on was some, some, some nice jeans, some nice sneakers, a white t-shirt, yeah. and your jewelry. You talking about 85 though? No, we not. No, we talking not. about 94, no. 98, no, nigga 57, 99. Man. He 57. Now, he, these he, kids, he, I'm, he 48. I'm 48, man. Oh, yeah. That's he it, man. I ain't no 57. <laughs> I'm just saying. It's <laughs> yeah. like it. We have now, this, like these kids, now. I can't imagine what they clothes budget is. These kids have on $6,000 outfits every day. But here's the thing. Yeah. Four months straight. Yeah, but you're not building a wardrobe. You got on an outfit, but you're not building a wardrobe. And again, break that down. When you build a wardrobe, that means your blues, black, grays, browns, suede, leathers, boots, this, that, you know, dress lasts shirts, forever. everything that it lasts forever. Suited and boots. Because you build, and now you go by this. When you have a wardrobe, <coughs> you interchange seasons, and you're adding too. But but we're you know this. We've always been taught to do everything excessively. The only issue, and again, you shouldn't go broke buying clothes. But, again, depending on what your infrastructure is like. Or and who's the teaching them to go the other well, way? The, well, the bigger problem with that is, the guy next to the guy, you gotta decide if you want the credit, right? Because if you want the credit, then what type of credit do you want? You want, you want to be responsible for putting the team together, or you want to be responsible for doing the work that you lack the capabilities of doing? Mm. Two roads you can go down. You understand what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna repeat that. Say it again for now. You could be responsible for putting the team of people together that does everything that you know you cannot do, or you could pretend to be able to do all these different things. And it's impossible, infrastructure. But this is what this you is need what you infrastructure. deal with. This, because you know what I deal with. I'll be in situations where a person feel like, man, if 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 my guy work with them and I I'm standing next to Rich, I'm not gonna get the credit. He's gonna get the credit. Oh, okay. So because of that, I'd rather go over here where this person is not, and and the the companies that that we're and I'm competing against on the daily. Do you know they use this? They the use mortgage. Yes, they tell guys, don't go and work at Clutch, don't go and work with Rich because you can be rich and you're not gonna- Divide get, and conquer. And they eating this up. It's happened, it happens repeatedly all the time. And that's just me. I don't know what happens elsewhere, but I know what happens, it comes back to me. And I'm saying to myself, Man, we got so far to go. Because they still using that one. So that you need to tell work. me. See, I'm a rep myself too, right? I, I, I rep, I rep people. I'm his, I rep his life, right? So what I'm trying to figure out on some real shit, you don't see how I just came to you, right? Cause I can't take him to four. I went to the NBA, I went anywhere trying to get him a deal. I couldn't get him, a, I said, Step up, go ahead, you got him. Right. You yeah. see how it was easy to pass right him on because I couldn't do nothing with him. Right. I ain't trying to battle with you or want to be. But you couldn't do nothing with him because the talent ain't there or because you just don't have the resources. I got the resources. Well, why you couldn't do nothing with him then? Because they I, it was a mix between it was a mix between his age, his medical report. So I said I couldn't I, I said I'm gonna pass him you. I ain't trying to battle with you and say I wanna I wanna go start see, a clutch up see, and have my old joint. I said I'm trying to get him in the game. See, let me just tell you about <laughs> they used to talk about you behind your back. <laughs> now they talk about you, you while you're sitting right there. Hey, listen, but, but, but let me put myself in those shoes, right? <laughs> For me as someone in leadership, 
I had to make the same decision, right? And when I partnered with UTA, it wasn't for anything other than we're trying to do what's best for the client. I'm trying to envision where our business is going, where the athlete is going, where the mind is going. And I had one or two choices. So I went and partnered with a company that had the resources in addition to the capabilities to align with our capabilities to make me stronger if necessary. If necessary, I don't need it if necessary, right? But again, I understand that. But that's at this level. What I'm talking to you about is not even there. I'm talking, we, we down level. here. Surface we down level. here. Because I understand, I played every role, bro. I've played every role. So you would think, again, I talk about this all the time, you would think that there would be a scenario in which my phone should be ringing off the hook. My phone should be jumping. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. But there's two things you deal with. What we just talked about. Mm -hmm. I can't stand next to you. I ain't enough shine for me. That ain't, that ain't the point. Because you, if, if you telling me that and you repping me, you ain't got my best interest, dog. Because if you could go over there and make me go up here, but you saying because of your ego and your personal interest is supersede me growing, well, when most athletes, you going against me, but man. But when most athletes find that part out, what Later. you just said, it's too late. They didn't, because now you looking at it from a perspective of, oh, well, I got the big deals. Yeah, but you, but you missing, I, for mo and I, now this conversation we're having right now, we're talking about this from a superstar level. If you a superstar, the strategy within and the expertise is equally yoked in terms of value as the money. It's very important, very important. And most people don't understand that. So you got that aspect of it. And then the other aspect of it that you have is, and again, this is, I'm just speaking for myself. We deal with situations where most people wanna be responsible for your success, not a part of your success. And that's the issue amongst our people. People love to say, I did that. Or have you not do the job that you're capable of doing for the sake of them being able to control your day, right? Right. right. And that just don't make sense. And this doesn't exist in any other business than ours. It does not. When we sat on the side, you told me the story of how you came up. It was one of the greatest stories I ever heard in my life, man. Like, you were selling throwback jerseys. Yeah. You, you sold some throwback jerseys to some kids from Akron, right? Initially, yeah. Initially, yeah. Well, I was, that was started the conversation. Right. The jersey I had on started the conversation. Right. From some kids from Akron not knowing and that led to me going down there and selling jerseys yeah and meeting Brian. that's how we met from selling you selling not, for me jerseys. selling jerseys yeah that's how we met but i wasn't trying to sell them to him at the time yeah i just had it on yeah that's how we met though but because i was in that business that's right. how we met yeah so coming from that to now you and brian work together what was it that made Brian put the trust in you out of all the people in the world? Somebody that was, we met from selling throwback jerseys to be like, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm rocking with you. That's a good question because trust is built over time. And so today we got a whole tanker of trust. It's my 23rd year, you know what I'm saying? But when it first went down, it's a teaspoon of trust. And I had to build on that every step of the way. But just talking about in terms of what made him allow me to represent him and have that trust currently today, people don't understand like, and that's where I look at our environment now, you can't skip steps. I didn't start representing him until my ninth 
year. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? He yeah. came to the league in 03. I started representing him in 2012. Yeah. Prior to that, I did all these different things as well as him being able to look from afar and say, plane leave at two o'clock. Rich ain't late. This happened in the league. Rich pulled my coattail before that. Oh, I got this boat trip. Or I'm in this section when he did go to the club. Oh, Rich ain't here. Or Rich missed the boat trip. Why Rich ain't on the boat trip? Oh, he and uh he at the Boo Williams tournament. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or he went on a road trip and, mm -hmm. you know, came back empty handed. Mm -hmm. But he missed this trip so he could be on that trip. Mm -hmm. Right? Or, man, you know, Rich got a, you know, he got Eric Bledsoe this year. Mm -hmm. So he training with Eric. Mm -hmm. But you know, I people are so accustomed to the custom. Yeah. Oh, such and such Vinatelli, he had Michael Jordan, he had Patrick Ewing, he had- Yeah, but, but they don't talk about why. See, you gotta understand something. Back then, the parental thing was different, right? Situation was different. Most grandmothers were raising these, these kids. And so most of those guys had the coaches, right? right? And still to this day, it works like this in some cases. We're just starting to break this down. But this is how it was for so long. Those guys, those represent, those agents, if the head coach of this college tell your grandmother you should go with this person, that's who they going with. That's what I'm saying. Right. That's my point. Like, it was like, so for Brian to be like, you know what, I'm gonna break the cycle. The norm is to stay with these people because these people is known for getting it done. These yeah. is the people that I was told was the best. But I'm breaking cycle, man. I'm coming yeah. with you. Yeah, he broke the cycle very early on. But again, he didn't break the cycle just because we was friends. That's what I'm saying. He broke the cycle because he saw and witnessed in rooms, he saw the, the, the added value like Bro, I used to be in meetings, sh sh footwear meetings. I'm not, I'm not there because I only want to get the gear. No. I'm gonna get that too. Right. But I'm not there just for that. I'm, when they call on me, I'm a <coughs> consumer. I'm a real consumer. So I know exactly what to say and I'm not afraid to say it. Right. I'm not afraid to say it in front of him. Right. Right? Or anybody else for that matter. Any of my guys that see me in the room, when they come out of that room, they know. It's a distinct difference, but again, this is today. We didn't, I created a business card. We wasn't allowed, we didn't have the business card, right? You had the relationship, mm -hmm. but you didn't have the position, mm -hmm. right? All these guys that went to this school or that went to this agent, et cetera, you think that guy went and could actually relate to that person? No, there was somebody in between mm -hmm. that had that relationship. I was the same way. When I started the business, everybody came to me, mm. but I didn't want, it wasn't about money. Right. It was about disrupting the industry from a place of care. Right. And not just to be doing something just for the sake of doing it, right. to give an industry balance right. and to give the athlete more options than what was in front of them. The game was being monopolized by an industry that could give two about you, your siblings, they care when, yeah, they care for the moment, for sure. They care why you making them that money. And I understand some of it because again, this business it's that we business. work in, it could be a very thankless business. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, it's business. It's business. But. This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by DraftKings, the number one sports betting app in the world. Now, uh, I don't care if it's a touchdown, a TD, a tubby in the end zone, your celebration, whatever you call a touchdown, one thing's for sure, touchdowns matter. And it matter more at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. On the ground, in the air, goal line stand, tush push, jump over the top, 
from special teams, interception, return for a touchdown. We don't care how you score them. We just want you to bet on touchdowns. And DraftKings Sportsbook is the number one place to bet touchdowns. Ready to place your first NFL bet? Try betting on something simple as player to score a touchdown to go to DraftKings Sportsbook app and make your bet today. Ready to do your touchdown dance? Hmm? New DraftKings customers bet $5 and get 250 in bonus bets instantly and get one month free of NFL Plus Premium. Download DraftKings right now. Come on, pull your phone out. Pull it out. Punch in code Gilly. Bet $5 and get $250 in bonus bets. What are we waiting on? I'm looking out. This is called the lookout. This is called the hookup. You know in the hood what we call just the hookup. Pull your phone out, punch and gilly, turn five into 250. Right, DraftKings. We only get one shot. Right. You know how many times I've been in a situation? I've been in a situation where I had to let guys go. Yeah. I'm not waiting to get fired. I'm going to fire them first because the excuses is piling up. Right. And I know where this is going. Right. But in most cases, agents don't do that. Right. Because they so used to not having a backbone right. and walking on eggshells. Right. But for me, it's about a foundation of respect first and integrity. If we don't have that with each other, we, how, can we, how are we going how are we gonna do business? That's one thing. But then the second thing is these guys are only going to play for so long. So what's the education that they're getting? Um, and it's not just about, again, you could talk to guys about cap tables and all that and sound smart. I'm talking about at your core, you know, mm -hmm. who you are at your core. Mm -hmm. And some guys want to hear it, some guys don't. And so going into a, a conversation with a top pick, they don't want to hear that. Because right. everybody else is saying, yes, 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 whatever you need. Absolutely, we're gonna do this and blah, 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 and this and that. And that's great. And that's great as long as you're doing this. You may not never, you know, but what happened when there's adversity? And, and that's where we set ourselves up for failure. And it's so, but you know, like, again, you're gonna carve it out how it's supposed to be carved out. You're gonna represent who you're supposed to represent. But we, me, I'm not getting a second, third chance. You know, they'll give others second and third chances, ignore what went on and make up an excuse. I've, bro, I've had so many excuses be made up about perception and, oh man, if, you know, I just feel like if I did this, it'll make me look different and, and, and people did perceive anybody, me as a anybody, different way. Did anybody, it's like, really, you think that? You think standing next is gonna make you? Did, did anybody okay. straight up ever That's tell cool. you, did any athlete ever straight up tell you like, yo man, me getting with you and you being black gonna devalue my value. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna have more, it's gonna give me less opportunities. Unfortunately, yeah. I've been told that. How did you I take I won't that? say by who, but I've been told that. How did you take that? With a grain of salt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I'm in a different position now. Yeah. But but I lost a lot of respect. I, and not That's and wild. not it's and not team. even not and again, I have several different, you know, races and genders of colleagues, etc. Not even because of that aspect of it, but just because I knew that that was a very like simple minded excuse for what it, it, it just, you know, like where we come from, it just it, the relationship was going to never be the same after that, period. Anyway, it was, a, it, was, it was only a matter of time. All right, now, what is the benefits of you being my representative as an athlete? What does the benefits come with me getting with Clutch, with me getting with you? Well, there, I mean, well, first of all, the, ed the education is endless. Okay. The education is endless because it's not just again. We ain't just talking basketball analytics. Let's let's take that hat off. I'm talking about, as you know, life experiences shape you. You talk about it all the time, yeah. right? You talk about it all the time. Y'all go all around the, the the country. People show respect because they understand your story, right? They respect your story, and your energy gives off 
a sense of care. So once you get rid of all the, you know, the, the sparkles and all that, like now let's get down to the yeah. real nitty gritty and the real conversations mm -hmm. and let's talk about it. That's where I come in, that's where I wanna sit. I wanna sit right there. And that's what separates me and us, but our core foundation, CLUTCH is an acronym. Mm -hmm. Knowledge, longevity, understanding, trust, commitment, and honesty, mm. right? And you need those pillars, not only in the sports you play, but you need that in life, mm -hmm. right? We come from a place where you just was trying to make it back home. Yeah. There's no plan, there's no, we going to Europe for the uh -huh. month of June, there's no, I'm leaving out my house today, hoping I make it back tonight. So when you come from that, my approach to the industry is totally different. There ain't no negotiation like making it back home. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? None. <laughs> there ain't none that I don't care what the deal you know, is. You know negotiation is harder than that. <laughs> no. So my mindset is different. But I know, so, so now I had to do what? I couldn't just make it about me. I had to build the business out. I had to scale the business because I'm gonna be an acquired taste, right? So if I just make it about me, then I'm only gonna be able to represent certain, a right. certain individual because I'm matter of fact. Right. And so now we've went from two staff members to 130 staff members representing over 400 athletes across four sports, 500 athletes across four sports. My legacy for the company isn't about Rich Paul. It started with that, but we've we've expounded way past the Rich Paul component. There'll always be a correlation, but you know, my responsibility to UTA, my colleagues there, my responsibility to my staff members at Clutch, we're now into, you know, we just announced the other day from the um, um, our 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 sponsorship program where we're now working with teams and doing all their sponsorship uh, business, naming rights, getting media rights. You know, we I don't know how many teams we work with this year where we, we place the patch, sell the patch for them, building out broadcasting, building out, you know, all the different verticals of the company, which when I, we had this conversation before you got here, uh, while you was late, by the way. You was late, I'm just saying. You was late. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Anyway. Accountable. I'm accountable. Yeah. Hold yourself accountable. Okay, cool. I'm out of pocket. <laughs> so, the reality of it is, it's like, damn, when I look now, I'm able to, the, the most thing I'm proud of is being able to come into an office and I'm seeing young people getting the opportunity. We didn't have those opportunities. We didn't but have those But you know what I noticed about Clutch, though? We're the culture. When I see a lot of deals get done, it's a lot of women doing these deals. Talk about the staff, the, the diversity of the staff. What, I mean, I think we probably 50-50 women in terms of our staff at this point. And in leadership, we're close to that as well. You know, women are very detailed, Yes. first of all. They get it done. Which is why, it's they very get it detailed. Done. Yes. And the women in my office are very detailed. The good thing is they're overprotective of me. So they keep me on the straight and narrow about everything. We got a really diverse group. Again, you know, all type of, you know, races and genders, et cetera. And that's the thing I'm proud of, you know, because I had to, the challenges I had to face in the industry was everything from, you know, I had to pay a tax for being LeBron's friend. I pay a, ta I, I pay a tax for that. Elaborate on that. You, LeBron's friend, so you're not gonna care about me. You got him. After all the receipts, like no, receipts normally mean something. And work usually. Right? Right. Used to mean something. But sometimes, in most cases, I have to pay a tax for that. Right? I have to pay a tax for this. Uh-huh. It's another tax. No, we, so we, we know we pay a tax for this. That's a tax. So you gotta pay the 50% to the government, another tax for being Brian friend, another tax for being black. You just they what do you what did you left with? Ten percent? 
my dignity and pride, you know, and, and, and my resilience to overcome all that and keep stumping, you know, because that's what time it is. But at the end of the day, these are the challenges. These are the hurdles. You know, you guys read about it, the rules and whatever the case may be. It's, it's, it's all that. But again, I look back trailblazing, man, it's about leaving these doors open. So I don't mind the challenges. I don't mind. It would, by the way, I wouldn't have it any other way. Right. I would not have it any other way. I love the way it's gone and has gone because guess what? It's been earned. It's been earned. Absolutely. And so being able to provide opportunity for others, whether you got a, you know, higher education or whether you're coming off the streets, right? Because oftentimes, we ain't really had nobody we can call and say, hey right. man, my nephew or my niece or my baby sister, man, can they get an intern? We ain't had that. So right. for me to be able to provide that, that's the win. Yeah. That's a real win. How important was it for you being that Brian is your friend? Mm -hmm. He was the, the one that believed in you, said, you know what? We starting clutch, I'm coming with you. Knowing that one of his dreams was to play with Bronny. That was very important. important for me to make that happen. That's, that's, that was very important for me to make that happen. You know, being there when he was born. Yeah. And again, when you talk about that, all the, when I look at the guys that allow me and us to represent them, it means they don't understand what that means, right? That, that is in gold, right? They are, They are um, exuding something that we're not gonna really know the true value of it until years to come. Yeah. The Tyrese Maxis, the Anthony Davises, the Zach Levines, the Darren Foxes, even down to the guys like a Chris Livingston who was 58 in the draft, you know, last pick of the draft. Everybody, the kids doing well now, all the way back up to the Darius Garlands and, you know, the Jalen Hurts and the, you know, all these people that when they look at Clutch, Clutch is the culture. Kids see Clutch and they see themselves. Right. We've never had that ever. example of representation ever. That's why I was saying it was so big by Brian to just not go with the standard, you know, because, yeah. because let's be for real, 10 out of 10 black people gonna be like, all right, bro, you my man, bro, you don't even do this. I know you're know you trying you to get into this, but this ain't what you do, man. I'm going with Johnny Rothstein, man. He been doing this shit since Will Chamberlain, man. Most black people gonna say that. Well, 10 out of 10. Well, it's so for then. Brian to be like, you coming in this lane? Well, I see what you doing behind closed doors. I see the deals you closing. You know what? I'm rocking with you. That was a game changer right there. Yes, it was. It was a game changer. But because of what you just said, it, most people think it was because we were boys. Nah. Hell no. Hell no. Nah. It wasn't because of that. <laughs> it was because I now see, and you've told me, and I saw my own two eyes, the capabilities. Right. See, you could be brother, cousin, sister, you know, gym, coach, all of that. But if you don't, if you lack the capabilities, you should not want that responsibility. Right. Do you think, you think from, from what I see and what you're telling us and what took place, you ain't had no ego to be AP, all purpose, all positions. No. During the come up, during the rise, no. to be able to position you there, whereas I'm able to see the execution in you, also the value you bring in the trust. We, I think a lot of people miss that because you sat here and said, I was here, I was doing this, I'm going to meet it. Dudes ain't doing that. Dudes sitting there, they would be sitting there with Brian like they Brian. All the time. With the same size chain, the same All car, the, the same, yeah. that's what happened. Yeah. But you sit there and say, I can't go here because I got to go do this research. I had to make a sacrifice. I can't do, you cool? You need uh -huh. anything? I'm going to put this person on you to make sure. You was already setting up an infrastructure during the journey. But, and not stopping there. Yeah. You know, like, I'm not stopping there. I'm building a business. I want to build a business. I could have easily stopped there and I would have been okay. But no, I, it wasn't about one thing. I'm appreciative of that opportunity, don't get me wrong, but I'm not stopping there. 
just like I'm appreciative of every client we have that allow us to represent them because they don't have to choose us. They can, they can pick it. Nowadays, it's, do you know how many agents it is, bro? How many? <laughs> Over 5,000. Do you know how many is basketball players is in the NBA? How many? 450. You know what that means? That means there's multiple <laughs> people running around here with no clients. Right. Dang. But that also means there's multiple people running around giving bad information to families. Mm -hmm. And now the family have to decide if they want to go. Because here's the other thing, you, here's another challenge you deal with. Oh man, y'all got too many people. We do? But, but. They do too. But it's a flip side to that. We got too many people because we the best. I'm Everybody just saying, come but, to us. But, but I'm just saying, this is what Because they want their money. But this is what you deal with. They want with, a family though. environment. But this is what you deal with yeah. sometimes. But I'm like, but wait a minute. We do, but. How okay. many years has Clutch been in, in business? Uh, started in 2012. 12. 2012. So 12, that's, that's almost 12. 12 and a half. 12 and a half years. How much? How many contracts are you negotiating total? How much Over money? Over four billion. Four and billion. Count. And how many athletes you had in that in that time? Just in basketball, we probably did that with about ooh, forty-five. Let me ask you this four question: Four billion out of damn. after LeBron came, y'all do the clutch thing? Bam. No, 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 no. That's wrong, Gilly. I did the clutch thing before LeBron came. Okay. Yeah. You, but he come over. He, he the first one to come, to come. over, right? Uh, they all came at the same time. Eric Blesso, Tristan Thompson, Corey Joseph, and LeBron all came at the same okay. time. Okay, wham. Who was the first person outside of them to be like, I'm KCP. coming? KCP. KCP. Okay. Contavious Caldwell Pope. By the way, that's the, so, I, me and KCP talking, and it was a situation where he was like, man, I want to, I think I want to do this, but he was a little hesitant. Called me, he's like, this is why I'm hesitant. I said, okay, well, you know, that's no problem, whatever. We'll figure it out down the road. I do, we do, we do, uh, Eric Blesso's deal with the Suns. Cause remember it took a while. Yeah, yeah. Do Blair's deal with the Suns. Have been an all-star, nothing like that. Man, when that deal came out, the first person to call my phone KCP. was KCP. You know who the second person was? Oh. Kyle Lowry. Not to represent him, but because during the season, I told Kyle, don't sign until Eric signed. And we always joke about it now. He even though said, you was right. <laughs> <laughs> we always joke about it now as my man, but, but it was just, you know, like those guys, when they did that, it was um, it was disruptive, man. It oh, really was. Take me back. Four billion dollars worth of contract. Yeah. Forty-five players. Yeah. How many people can say that? How many agents can say that with your time frame? I'm talking about with your time mm, frame. Not many, especially building something. You know, because you got to think the guy. You know, previous to us and to me, the thought process was not to build. Because you got to think today. Look at look at today. You just can sell where the business is at, based upon today. Private equity wants to be involved in the representation business. Yesterday, agents was looked at as like a black cat almost, right? And I actually like black cats, but they was looked at as like a black cat almost. And so, the thought process of scaling and infrastructure and building different verticals and things like that. That was never a thought. You gotta remember, most agencies, most agents' companies was named after themselves. It was such and such, yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. such, it was named after the person. Kind of like a law firm. I, I never wanted that. If I do that, I couldn't do this. Now this don't have nothing to do with Clutch Sports Group. The name is just synonymous, but this is something totally separate. So I wanted to have verticals so that I could build out in the ecosystem of sports. So now, by the way, I can sign a competitor's client to Clutch Athletics if they was open-minded enough
to understand it. You get what I'm saying? So I'm driving upon all roads at this point, no matter who you sign with, go do whatever you need to do. Because we're gonna cross at some point somewhere. And today, they're reluctant. But tomorrow when the athlete wake up and realize, so you telling me you want me to sign over here, but they only got 20 grand for me, and I can sign over here, and they wouldn't have paid me 100 grand, but you don't want me to go over here because you think it's an agency and it's really a brand. Man, are you crazy? You get what I'm saying? It's only a matter of time before the athlete wake up to that. Then what you gonna do? You, you, you get what I'm saying? That's real, but you, you know what's crazy is like, you spoke about something and I, and I speak about that and me and Kevin Hart spoke about this too. The power and benefits of partnership. A lot of times us, we think, oh, I'm independent. Yeah, you cool, you can be independent. You know, but you can still be independent on all your IP and partner with somebody that have stronger resources, correct? 100%, but you got the problem with us is they rather not partner with you to be pretending to be to be pretending to be partnering with them. They'll go for the pretend all day long. Just to not partner with you though. You get what I'm saying? Like this is a true partnership. Yeah. That ain't, but I can say it is just because I want to act like that I got more leverage over there than you was offering just because I don't want to with you because of this. Or, but, nine, but, but in most cases, it ain't different than this. It's this making the decision not to with this. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Which is even deeper. Yeah. Don't they, let's quit putting the blame on oh, yeah, they another, gotta, they another race. Do it. They quit putting the blame it. on that. Let's 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 hold ourselves accountable. They got, they but they, got, that come from the broken trust from when you're younger. Yep. You, you grow up in that ghetto. You grow up in that hood, and you see so many doing slick doing that. When you get old, you just think be on some dog. Nah, I mean, I'm not going with him. <laughs> nope. <laughs> but the slick is everywhere. But, now, but just slick is. But just slick is. And the growing in the ghetto, we don't get a chance to see the slick everywhere. We only we see, see it with slick. people of our color. We only no, see. No, you see the slick. You just don't see the slick as it pertains in different forms of slick. Right. You see the slick exuded through body language and action, right. but you don't see the slick exuded through contractual language. That right. paperwork slick is right. different. You know the saying? paperwork makes but the see, paperwork. Growing up in the ghetto. Most of the time, we don't even get to the contractual sh to a little later on in life. I understand that. So, but again, at eight, nine, ten, twelve, fourteen, you just been seeing trying to be slick and pull the covers over your head your whole life. So now you about to sign a hundred million dollar contract. I ain't going with the black man. I don't <laughs> trust him. He ain't. <laughs> it'd be like, yeah. bro, bro. It's getting. It, I, I will it'd say be this. mental, bro. I will I'm say this. telling you, man. We have a long way to go. We got a long way to go. And and again. I don't want to put it only on race because I think that you have to be able to, if you build the right business and you have the right integrity within your practice, you should be able to represent anybody. All. Big, Absolutely. tall, anybody. small, round, brown, purple. purple, whatever the case may be. Most people go into a situation looking for the sexiness and not the substance. And that should not come with color. Right. That should come with expertise and experience. Mm -hmm. Man, at the end of the day, this business that we work in and I work in, which is a service industry, it's a very, it's a tough business and it's getting tougher by the day. You got NIL, you got most people, when they're doing well, they think they need less. So they're now not valuing the expertise because what I need that for? Right. I'm killing it. Right. Right? Right. So I don't need that. Right. Well, but ask that same question to guys that have because you talk people talk about brands all the time. Mm -hmm. First of all, the brand idea is there's no brands. Mm -hmm. There's IPs. Everyone that's an individual, your IP is is what you building value and equity in. Mm -hmm. The, the brands are the companies. Those right. are brands. Ask the guys who've built a tremendous amount of value within their IP, 
that has now been able to become businesses through the lens of their IP. As they done more, did they need more? LeBron, mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. You don't even know how many people work with him. 2,000. Steph, <laughs> KD. Just three names in, in, in basketball mm -hmm. that I think have become businesses through the lens of value that they built through IP right. and partnership, right. and they've been able to build a business, right? Those guys, they don't have one person working with them. They got who knows how many, right? They right. need more. Right. And you need strategy, you need infrastructure, you need more, 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 more. The average athlete thinks, oh, man, I'm killing it. I don't need nothing. Good. And that's the first mistake. That's the first mistake that they make. And, I, and I'm, people will say, well, you biased, you're in this place, like you said it. No. Okay. Take sports out of it. Right. When Oh, I'll use you guys for example. Y'all went from the, the, the squad house mm -hmm. to moving around the country. Mm -hmm. Y'all just had a camera set up, a tripod set up, just y'all two shooting the shit. Now what you got? Yeah. How many calls you on a day? Mm -hmm. Why? It ain't because you wasn't successful. Right. You know what I'm saying? You didn't go backwards. Mm -hmm. So that's what people, that's what people, you know, don't understand about it. And it's, it's a tough conversation to have, especially in today when, man, you know, they still hitting us with the money card. Yeah. And we're still going for it. Yeah. At with, the end of the day. With these NIL deals, right? Do you think it's going to stop some kids? from achieving their dreams. Because I feel like, I feel like some of these kids gonna end up at the wrong colleges over money. They not gonna end up with the best fit over money because it's like, okay, I could go here. This could be a better fit. This could help me fulfill my dreams and get to the league. But this college over here giving me a lot more money and it's gonna help me right now instead of well, in the future. Well, yeah, I think, yeah. I think that could be very hurtful. I also think that there's a world where we're gonna start seeing where it's a cap on that. But you're right. Your decision shouldn't be based strictly on money. Don't get me wrong, like some some families they need that money. Some players they need, you know, they need that money. But the pro guys. If you really got dreams of going pro, they don't. The pro guys. If 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 this person wanted to pay you two million, and this person wanted to pay you a million and a half, but this is the best place for you to go, to to better position yourself to to reach pro, pro you know pro positioning, then that that other five hundred thousand ain't gonna mean as much because this putting you in a better position, which where you may be have a better performance, perceive better get better, build better habits, have better education, and now that's gonna help you have longevity where you're going, so you're gonna make that up anyway. The guys that should be going for the most money is the guys that know they ain't pros. Right. Get all the money you can get now. But what I'm saying is you got a kid, right, that he live at the top floor of that projects building right there, mm -hmm. right? He eat out, of, that's, that laundry mat right there is where he wash his clothes at. He, he done spent his whole life savings at that poppy store getting chopped cheese right there, right? And you said, we gonna give you an extra 500,000. Yeah, but you can't, you can't depend on- We talk about kids that ain't had nothing. That. I understand that, And yeah. they saying, we gonna give you an extra 500,000 yeah, to a kid that never had to come to LSU over Duke. In what sport? Basketball? Okay, we gonna give you an extra five hundred thousand to come to Texas A and M over over Duke in what in sport? basketball? Then no, I'm not doing that because if I go to Duke for less, my positioning, my perception, my brotherhood. If you just count the guys that are, that are in decision making positions and Duke, within our league that come from Duke, 
But Rich, yeah. that kid up there at the top floor of that projects, he ain't making that decision by himself. He got his mom in there. He got I his understand. grandmom in there. He got four siblings in there. They like, man, get that money, baby. I understand. So, but that's you know, that's the that's the real decisions that these kids is facing. You gotta live. You gotta live with that. And a lot of them, their dreams is gonna be crushed in the end. Yeah, that's what he's saying. They I gonna get that. the fast money now. But that's but again, life is about decision making. Life is about decision making. And I want to say something. The only reason why we didn't do this in Cleveland is because our schedules. Yes. Because I don't want nobody from my city. Y'all were just there. Yes. Yeah, well, we, damn, Rich, why you ain't do it in Cleveland? I would uh, rather do this in Cleveland. Permit. But yeah. our schedules didn't. I just want to. Right. Full disclosure. I want to put Let's that out. That. There. Now, yeah. I got a question. Two questions. I've been representing Gil for a while. I've been trying to get him in a lot of, like, it's deep for me because <laughs> I had some meetings with the uh, ABL, the BBL, and a bunch of other L's, leads, right? And uh, <laughs> nobody would take him. Can you get him the a one there? Wait a minute, the BBL wouldn't take it? No, no he I'm just had a DDL. <laughs> no, no, but that was the other day. We ain't right. gonna talk about that. But but just what I'm saying, like, Rich, I I only want him for one day, and I'm gonna tell you why I won. That one day, he gonna snap so crazy, they gonna come back and sign him for real. But let me tell you where Gil messed up. Cause he had it, Gil, I'm gonna tell you where you messed up. Cause you had it, you had a real opportunity. When you start having the pros on the show and then you want to, you should have never put that on camera. Because your defense, you can't move the puppy. You won't play it's no feet, defense. No, you don't play no, 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 no. And, and on top of that, on top of that, there's no way he's going to be able to get up and down the floor. What? Too much. Oh, no, no, that's what that I out. do. That's what I do. No, I that's get, actually listen, his medicine. What you mean? It's, it's no, it ain't. Come on, we know the NBA. You going in a paint. <laughs> Let me explain something to you. That's some of the best medicine. But I will say this too, Rich. But, but listen, he, but listen, Gil, you're not, you're not working out though. You getting up every day. No, some people do push-ups. I that do push -up. Fight song, fly. Oh, Eagles. <laughs> That's the team. You see what happened yesterday? Yeah, I know it's a team. I rock with the Eagles. Yeah, you got a lot of Eagles. But I don't want to hear him singing. He used to be in Germantown back in the day. Oh, okay. This episode of Me and Osworth a Game is brought to you by none other than New Amsterdam Vodka. Now, um, life ain't going your way. <laughs> Shout out New Amsterdam Vodka. You caught chill woman cheating today. Shout out New Amsterdam Vodka. You thought that check was coming and it didn't come your way. Shout out New Amsterdam Vodka is distilled five times. It's filtered three times for a clean, crisp finish. Now, you could drink it straight up. On the rocks, juice or soda, or you could just make a classic New Amsterdam mule. That's up to you. But when you're out and about at your local liquor store, don't you dare walk past this New Amsterdam. You scoop it up like a fumble at the goal line. You run it to that counter, boop, get it home, put it on ice, and it's going to be everything you like. New Amsterdam vodka, get you some. The official vodka of Barstool Sports. N A. V. New Amsterdam vodka. And it's just like that. Right? <laughs> now, I, now I was in Richard Allen. I go Richard yeah, Allen. Yeah, he keeps he keep saying yeah, yeah. Listen, he I go, I, listen, one something. thing about Philly. I go South Philly, West Philly, North Philly, Nice Town, mm. okay, German yeah, Town, okay. Mount Airy, mm. Manny Young. Mm. I go all through. They they love me in Philly. All right, now back to what Real I'm saying, though. Philly. Listen, we so understand So just so you know, uh, just so you don't get it. twisted, Gil. Could you get him a deal? I believe a lot in myself, <laughs> but I'm be honest with you. That's one thing I couldn't what do. What about a shot? Is first of shot? all, I he thought got... I thought all people with two first names could accomplish anything. Three first names. Three first names? Yeah. What is what's the middle name? Allen. This got three now, first now, names. Hold up, one more <laughs> Richard Allen. Richard Allen. Allen. That's why I like Richard Allen so bad. Yeah. Let me just say this, <laughs> and I'm not joking right here. Your Gil can tell you this. My game been matched up with, let me tell you these players. Hold up. Let, let me just say this. Yo, come on, Wow. And Clyde Drexler told me like two weeks ago that my shot was soft. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> he said that. I had a big shot. I had some big shots. Clyde had, who? Clyde Drexler, a legend. 
He said, I know he a legend. He told Yo, me, he said, man. Have you ever heard somebody tell somebody they shot his soul? He said, that's a soft shot. But listen, no. let me just say this. Let me say this. They say my game is like Sean Kemp, Rasheed Wallace, Draymond Green, and Dennis Rodman. All together, right? Now, I need to know something because you know Brian like that. And I need to know this. When I see, we seen Brian, I run up and I said, what we doing, man? We'll be checking rock. He laughed. Was that nervousness or was that him being smart and laughing at my game? <laughs> Who? Man. Bro, tell me, bro. At the, oh, at the American the game. Man. He walked up talking about, what's up, what you we doing? You said that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he laughed. Bro, I bust out laughing, man. You know why? Was he nervous? No. He was nervous for you. Because here's the thing. If he if he attacked your, told Brian, I seen if he Brian, attacked I your shoulder, if he attacked your shoulder, that's that's listen, I'm you'll be in the hospital for two weeks. <laughs> no, that's 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 a that's <laughs> an offensive foul. No. I'm gonna set up. I'm gonna set up. You gonna take a charge? Yeah, I'm gonna take the charge. Nobody oh taking a charge from Brian. Shut up, oh man. My God. <laughs> but listen, man, this, we appreciate my man three three first names. You knew he was destined to be great. Richard Allen Paul. Richard Allen no. Paul. No. Oh Richard Allen Paul. <laughs> yeah. North Philly. Richard Allen. Hey, 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 hold listen, on, man. I want to give a shout out to my best cheesesteak place in, in Philly what? that I like. Ishka Bibble. I knew he was going to say Ishka Bibbles. You got to go to Taste Cheesesteak. I knew he was going to say Ishka I said, I like Ishka Bibbles. You got to go to Taste Cheesesteak. Yeah, Taste Cheesesteak. You got to go yeah. to Taste Cheesesteak. They got I told my man got, steaks, my man got, got it from Philly. I told my man got it from Philly. He argued me up and down. Ishka Bibbles. I just bro. had Ishka Bibbles two days ago, man. I have to have it when I go to Philly. Shout out to Ishka Bibbles. Shout out to, to Rich Allen Paul. Three first names. Richard Allen That's Paul. Be great. You know, you know North what? Philly but, Paul. But think about the importance of Philly to be. What? Mitchell and Ness. Yeah. That's where it all started. That's where he started. Started to see, he was selling throwback jerseys. What about Total Sports? Just the replays that started. Then it went to Mitchell and, and, did he, did he, and Total Sports. Think about yeah. this. Total Sports. He was selling throwback jerseys. So Brian and his friends some bootleg joints and Not came up. Bootleg. Ate this you had some bootleg joints. You had some Canal Street throwback jerseys. It is just like that. Right. No. No. You had some Canal Street throwback jerseys. Nah. What, yo, what you want to do? What you mean? The f yeah, you know why you? Know I am? No, you know you don't do that. I want to see your shot. Well, you Give me that rock. Give me that rock. It don't matter, you don't baby. Do that, Rich. Yeah, I want to see. <laughs> Rich yeah, keep talking about get, how good yeah, he's this, shooting and all that. Get He'll this. do that. No, I want to see him shoot. Yeah, you know what I do. You don't do nothing. You I, I want to see I him do. shoot. You know what I do. Come on, come on, uh, come on, Wallop. This for the Lamborghini. This for oh, the Lamborghini. This for the Lamborghini, love. This for the Lamborghini. For the Lamborghini. <laughs> like this. Just put it on the truck, ship it to LA. Just ship it to LA. I don't even drive look it. Look at him, look at him. Look, he, 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 I don't even drive it. It's too slippery out here. <laughs> This my range, where my range at? No, it's a free throw. Oh, don't do me, don't do me like that. Don't disrespect my game. <laughs> and I come up, I come up, listen. The let the record hold up, let that suck. Because we gotta, we gotta let this be known. I wanna put this shit on the record for New York City, right? Any given day, I come up Dykeman and put 20 up, Gil put 50 up, any day. Uh, any given any day. Any given day, yeah, just let the record. Right. You better look me up. Any oh, given man. day. You man, better look me up. Man. I bet you they know what they call me up here, though. Man, please. Oh, I, I, I got to warm up. Show up. I got to warm up. I got to warm up. What What I got? What, what for 10? I'm going to go with 10. Hey, Gil. Ten. Hey, Gil, come five. and watch this, man. I need you. Get you. Five. you don't get no 10. Get I get five. 10. You want to do 10? Right, best out of 10. Best out of 10. Oh, man, I was trying to air ball no, through my arm. Man, that's 0 for 2, man. I just had surgery. Just for the Lambo. Don't say that. 0 yeah. for 3, come for on, three. man. Come on, come on. You can't go 0 yeah. for Winfrey, man. No. God <laughs> What'd you have surgery on, your toenail? No, he had a DDL, man. <laughs> Don't play with me. 1, one for, for 4. four. You Don't play with four. me. Uh, 1 for you 5. Lost all right, come, on, come on, come on, cuz. 2 for 6. Come on, come on, give me that. 1 for 6. Oh, you gotta shoot 10 of them, man. You gotta shoot 10. I'll be back here pulling up in the game. Man, it's, come on. <laughs> he make, he make a Gillian Wild. Oh, two, 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 two for seven. Two for seven. Two for seven. There you go. Oh, two you for eight. He's had surgery, man. You gotta look me up, though. Two for eight. 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 Two for e
Yeah, yeah, I shut the surgery. building down in this joint. Three I come out here shut the building down. Yeah, wait. You got one more. You got one more. Talking for compensation. They want to hear up on that shit. Doug, y'all think I'm lying, Doug. Nigga had surgery, man. Nigga got some inches added on, man. That's 10, man. That's Three 10. for 10. <laughs> come on. <laughs> what, come on. Dog, it's too slippery out here. That don't mean that. Come no, on. That's 10. This is for the Lambo. It's for the Lambo. Come for the on. Porsche. Come on. Let's see what no, Rich you Jumper know, like. Rich, you ain't. Come on. You. Rich, you was the water boy, oh, man. You ain't no game. Oh, what? for what? He was. I'm just warming up. He got warm up. He got oh, warm up. Oh, no, no, oh, no. That's no, 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 ain't no way in there, man. Don't look at the cold <laughs> like that. That's that's a, that was down with that bullshit, man. That was down, man. 0 for 2. That was down. Get in there, girl. Oh, 1 for 3. You ain't got nothing. Come on, man. Get in there, girl. You two lost four. already. No, I didn't. You only got two. You lost already. already. What you been? Oh, man, come five. on, man. No, don't look at the rim, man. Hey, come on, I'm gonna run it back. I'm gonna run it back. Get your hands off my rim. I'm gonna run it back. Two for five. I'm gonna run it back. You know you've been in jail. I'm gonna run it back. Scared of what? He already lost, Gil. Two for six. He had three. Man, you had three. That's two for six. There ain't no two for six. Man, what the hell? Run it back. Come on, run it back. Hold on, let me see something, man. Come on, come on. Two for seven. Come on, come on. Two for seven. 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 I'm gonna run it back. I'm gonna run it back. You gotta finish. Warm up. Oh, I need two three. Two for seven. Yeah, you better. I need. Hit. I mean, you got at least time. You got three more. No, I don't. Two yeah. for eight. Damn. He's a bum, Rich. Oh, look the same. He was a bum. You got OG back there talking heavy. Whoa! It's me. Come on. Nah, if he was a rapper, he'd be LL No J. Come on. Tie it. Tie it. Tie it. Run it back. Run it back. Oh, for what? Listen, Come on, cuz. You came home with your commissary. Follow through, cuz. Oh, oh, for two. Come on, don't let Rich get off on us. Oh. Come on, you won't let a nigga with three oh, first names get out. Oh, gee. He got all this thousand. Oh, for that's three, all I know. Man. Yes. Oh, for four. You won't no, let no, a nigga no. with three first names get off. So you want to get three? How much you got? No, what you mean? We started over. This is real. This is real. Oh, this is real now? Yeah. This is 0 for four, man. One for five. Come on, cuz. One for five, cuz. Same shot. There you go. Ah, uh, one for six. Oh, ain't back there, man. He got me, man. <laughs> there you go. Two for, Two for seven. seven. Come on, cuz. He go down. Three for eight, cuz. Come on, cuz. Same shot. It's muscle memory. There you go, cuz. Four for nine. It's muscle memory, cuz. Yeah, cuz. Ah, uh, four for four for ten. Come on, dude. You're done. <laughs> you got it. I got it. It's there too. All old bills too. Listen, we got. said we got caught. Oh, right. One well, for what? Look What's at that me. for? For the young ones. I don't play no court. Me, I play on the. I play on the red carpet, two baby. Two. Ooh, hey, come on, man. Hey, 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 Three. Ah! Don't mean that, baby. For that money, on you. Four for four. I'm gonna cut it off. He camera. tied you up already, cuz. <laughs> Five for five, cuz. He cooked you already. Sixes. He got a game. He warmed up. Low. Hey, low. No, you just got hustled by Shorty Raw. I did. He ran to Richie Allen and played on me. He ran to Richie Allen and played on me. He, play on me. he come through the first time with a dumb joy. Come through with yeah. the dumb joy. He come through with the dumb joy. I got him. Get that money up there, Wallo. <laughs> Get that money up there, Wallo. Get that money up there, man. Give it to the people. Hey, oh, man. Hey. Give it to the you people. You hustling hey. ass. Hey. You good. Hey. You hey. good Cleveland, hey. Ohio. Hey. Oh, that's what I'm getting for money. Hey. Oh, money, too. I'm still spending money from 88. Hey. I'm money from 88. Hey. Hey. Okay, okay. Who I'm giving to? Who I'm giving to? The people. The people. Come on, I can put some more on that. Come on, 
I can put some more. I'll give it to the people. people. Oh, all right, I'll give it to the people. I'll give it to the people, man. Hey, man. Sherry, Sherry, Sherry. Yeah, I'm Sherry. There we go. Go buy you something nice. I ain't like that old school Cleveland hustler shit. <laughs> that was some old school Cleveland hustling shit, man. He had, he had, he had him. Hey. I had, I had hey, listen. To. He missed a couple. Look, no, yeah. he missed a couple yeah. walking on the rim. What's going on? I was, cause, no, seriously. Not a thousand. Was, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to. Follow oh, a sucker, okay. man. He hustled. <laughs> listen, man, we out here. Dykeman, basketball, yes. New York City. I just, yes. Rich, we want to talk about the Don't game. Don't even talk about Leave it alone. Wallow. Rich cook wild. I just came man. out of I just came out of surgery. I'm a little wounded. So my yeah. wrist wasn't like, you, you know, know you had the DDL but surgery, so he cool, but, but listen man, yo, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, Gil couldn't get in none of the leagues, the BBL, the CBL, the NBL. He said he gonna get him in the NBA. That's all I'm saying, Rich. That's it. For how a one dare. Now nah, he gonna sue me at the game. Oh shit. No, but no, they give me some good seats. I'll take that. No, no, yeah. but can he play? Can he, seats, no, we need, no, we need him to play in the game. <laughs> Listen, man, I, I do real business, Wilder. I ain't know that. Oh, so you say he don't do nothing? Let me just say, say game. If Bill Brody played one on one, you think I'd score four? Would destroy you. You think I'd get four, five four what? points? Five, no, six points. Now. That's a 20 year What are you talking about? Dog, I just, you know, I just, I just, I just lost to Donovan Mitchell 10 to 4. I lost to Trey Young. Donovan Mitchell had on slides. No, he didn't. He had ball sneaks on. Sneaks on. He had his oh. leaders on. No, listen. I scored on him twice, too. Listen, you my man here. Yeah. Just leave it alone. Leave man. it alone. Yeah, listen. If you relax, we know you can play 40 and over. Oh, 40 no, and play, don't play nobody over 35. Don't play that shit. I don't, I don't, play, I don't play nobody in the league. Don't put me in no dinosaur league. Look, okay. You in the six foot under league? No, I'm not in six foot under. Foot under. Six foot. <laughs> you keep throwing these shots at me, man. <laughs> no, that's a real league. I thought you no, were six no, foot. No, 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 I don't play no six foot under six league. Six foot under league? That's a real league. That's a real league. Is it professional? We might get. We might have a shot. Yeah, here. here's what I'm saying. Let's take that. Six foot under league. It's just a start. What type of contracts? Would I be a power forward? When y'all put it under, we you not listen, Gil. When y'all come, with, we not doing none of that. Yeah. We're gonna enjoy the day, good grub, game. We ain't playing. Nobody on our roster. You cannot beat none of them. You cannot beat not you one. Got some on roster, cause on I put roster. it on you. I got you. You can't beat Taylor Horn Tucker, B.J. Boston. I'm naming the young guy. Who's the shortest? Darius Garland, you I'll can't cook Darius. Are you out of here? Talk that thing. Talk DG. that talk, cuz. That's right, cuz. Here's cookie. Cuz a cookie. Yo, cook a cookie. I don't know what they putting in there. Cuz a cookie. Jamal Crawford running from me. Cuz no, a no, cookie. No, 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 no. I got him cooking it. Do you know? He's going to be barbecue. The sauce and all. Come on, man. Cuz, talk to DG. him. DJ. You know that mean? You know that mean? You know that mean? He was sitting there and he was just like, I'm going to Cleveland. And I told Donovan Mitchell I shoot better than sixty percent of the NBA. That's a fact. You you think you can cook Darius? Yeah. What about, I think what the game would be close. Oh, oh, no, I put you with. <coughs> you should. You and De'Aaron. Fox. Yeah. Yeah, we both left-handed. I ain't. I ain't. Put him on the grill. Let me show you something, man. Look at the follow through. I'm follow not even through, looking man. at it. I'm not even looking follow at it. Follow through, baby. But. <laughs> Cause you ain't make that. Shut up, man. The cameras didn't see it. I'm not that nigga. The cameras didn't see it. The way I played it off. I just slipped up. I just slipped up. I give you a young guy. I give you a young guy. You can't. You can't talk. He was injured this year, but he didn't even play yet. He'd be injured playing against me. I tell his Achilles. Young guy on our. Young guy on our roster. KJ Simpson. Oh no, they. He don't know enough up here, man. You can't. Nah. I got him up here, man. I bet you won't score three. Shh. I would bet my life to a suitcase full of shit. I'll score three. On KJ Simpson. On KJ Simpson, no, Bart you. Simpson, Homer <laughs> Simpson. Not Bart. Whatever <laughs> Simpson he, his Gil. father, Big KJ. Gil, <laughs> you are not scoring three on KJ Simpson. When we setting this up? As if I call him today and he's healed, we're setting it up. Make sure he healed, because I don't want to do I, you, you, I'm not the it. person to be guarded with that 10 to ACL. You won't score. You won't and I know you, you definitely won't score on Scottie Pippen Jr. Oh, you won't yeah, score I, too. Bro, I cook Scottie Pippen Jr., man. Oh, my He's God. A junior I'm giving you all the young reason. bucks. He's a junior for a reason. I would have put no, 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 the I'm numbers saying, up on his pop. 
I was wrong. Oh, for oh, oh cuz not Scotty. Oh my god. He's talking about Scotty, man, with Mike, not him. <laughs> oh no. my god. Don't do that, cuz you're getting a little crazy. I, I gotta wrong. stop. I do you know how good I am, bro? Cut that out. Listen. I score four points on anybody. Oh no, you're not. Cuz. Oh you tripping. already said Scotty. You're not scoring Pippen. points on you Tyrese. Lost stop, your stop this down on my neck. Tyree who? Tyrese. Maxi. Yeah. You're not scoring four on Tyrese. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't disrespect your six. Man, you might not score. You're not scoring four on MVP. Who get the ball first? He do. Oh, uh, you know, you want to do the best out of ten? You got yeah, we can do that. Fucking facts. We can do that. You got Ronnie. I'm ready. Come on, Rich. You first. Ten. Uh oh, best out of ten. You first. So you couldn't never. Back up again. Don't worry about it. You know what I mean? Rich might got a jump shot. You think he's worried about it? Represent all these players. Oh, y'all yeah, laughed at my shot in the warm up. Oh, uh, y'all, you, you need a warm up and shit. Yeah, warm up. That's a warm up. That's a warm up. Alright. One for two. Alright. Alright. I hit two. Oh, shirt. two for five. Then that's, now, two, that's two for six. <laughs> you gotta beat me. That's two for six, man. You gotta beat me. It's two for seven, man. All that. I want the rice and all that shit. Yeah. Man. yeah. You got three it. for seven, man. I'm just letting it be known. Three for eight. Gilly, stop playing with me. Four for eight. Stop playing with me, Gil. You my man, Gil. I love you, Gil. Gil, you my man. I love you. Ah. That's one more. I got one more. I got one more. Four for nine. No, no, you my no, man, Gil, I love you. Every so right here for this, uh, for the college That's 50. That's 50. You say you shoot better than 60% of the league. Heavy, bro. All right? Don't miss. Right. I get a warm-up shot, bro. They tell me, what? All right, he get a warm-up shot. We all got warm-up shots. <laughs> What's that, 0 for 2? Oh, you got to move on. Hell no. Nah. Shoot what we were shooting. That's the woman's line. NBA right here? Yeah. Yo, I told you, he got to beat me. He, he not going to beat him, but he got to beat me. He got to beat me. It's the cush-ups. It's the cush-ups. I ain't even do no cush-ups today. Come on, man. Come on, man. Go ahead make a shot check. I'm sober, though. Don't worry about this. That's cool. Bet. You gotta make four in a row. The pressure on, you gotta make four in a row. What's that? <laughs> What's that? What for what? <laughs> you, <laughs> you gotta beat me. 
I don't wanna hear nothing. Make, yo, make sure this go on the gram. I need to see your peoples know that you ain't beat me. You ain't beat me. Now we bent some money. <laughs> yo, what's up? What, what happened? What happened? Yo, he ain't beat me. Yo, what happened is y'all got digging the pot. Hey, hey, cuz, Gil needs some money, man. Give me thousand dollars. Gil needs some money. What are they? Two ready? Fuck, that's cool. Come on, Rich. Get some oh, to the community. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Oh, Pass it out. Pay him first. We ain't bet. What you mean? Pay him first. You gotta bet something. I've already now we betting. I'm setting you up now. Oh, <laughs> you ain't beat me. I just need my buck. Yeah. You want me to go? I just need my oh, buck. We bet a hundred dollars. Yes, you ain't beat me. Thanks for your budget. Bring it back. You want me to go eight? Shoot nine, with ten, rich first. Then you want me to go? Oh, so you want a hundred dollars and you quit? No. no. <laughs> I'm from Harlem. We're gonna double it back. No, I'm from Harlem. We're gonna double it back. But we'll double it back then, nigga. They want me to go eight. On what? How many? How many? Ten. Ten? Bet. What you mean? What you talking about? Yeah, now, you out of your mind. Now, that's why I talk this shit. Yeah. Now, yeah, 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 this is why I talk that shit. Bet. Bet. This one is a whole different game. Look at you. Scary. Whole different game. Whole different game when I bring that North Philly shit. I bet. Right, you 0 for 3, you go 0 for Winfrey. Now. I bet. And you, you go 0 for Winfrey. Now. Hold on. Watch this. 0 for Winfrey, nigga. I'm trying to tell you, Gail. Gail, I'm trying to tell you. Gail, yes. 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 You won for five. You won for six. It's going to be easy as hell. One for six? I got, I got to hit two. I got to hit two. One for seven. I got to hit two. I got to hit two. I got to hit two. I got to hit the last two. Two for seven. Two for eight. I got. That's all right. You better make more than two. Oh, I got one more? Oh, yeah, I got one more. That's a yeah, fact. Got I got two. This yeah. one's short, two for nine. Here we go. Yeah. Uh, 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 give me three. Give me three. Two for ten. There's a difference when I talk this shit to you, ain't it? So, ah! It's a big difference when I talk this shit to you, ain't it? Oh, you do, oh, yo, I don't want to say, you know, feel me? That's, you know, no, no, hold on. Well, you got to shoot, man. Put that shit back on the ground, because you're going to have to give it back. Pause. Nick, please. You talking about this is what I do, nigga. Don't miss the next one. Don't miss the next one. How close you get, nigga. I don't give a fuck how close you get, nigga. You know what my Don't miss the next one, Okay, I won't, nigga. Yeah, you did. Oh, in and out, you see Yeah. Yeah, you know that. Yeah, yeah. Seven. yeah. Got seven more shots. Yeah, you know seven more. Done. You bet not miss. You know you're done. You bet not miss. You got a better you chance bet. of seeing Jesus sitting in your style by that little laundry man. I know. I know. You, I know. You my man. I know. Talk oh, about nigga. That's all. That's all. You nervous? You see that heart? <laughs> yeah. Look, I know yeah. I'm making one. You, you ain't got to worry about that. He got to make two though. All you got to do is make two. One. He made two. Yeah, he already made hit two. two. I know you put us in three and four. Nah, that's all right. Don't worry about none of that. You ain't got to do none of that. that Make nigga it. Out of here, nigga. You out of here, nigga. I... You out right, of nigga. here. <laughs> I set you up like Rich said, Wallow up. You out of here, nigga. I set you up like he set him up. You out of here, nigga. I set him up like he set you up, nigga. <laughs> He thought he thought it was a game. You thought this shit was Instagram, huh? You was wrong, nigga. You was wrong. They thought he just thought this shit was Instagram. Oh, that's all. My fault. What's that? Oh! Set for eight, seven. He thought it was just Instagram. Matter of fact, let me step back to my range now. Let me step back in my range now. This is my range back here. I like come down on the young dyke man. That's my range. 